Greetings everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at some time and pitch modifications using Sample Wrench. Specifically, we're looking at pitch shifting, time shifting, something called resynthesis, and my favorite, spectral warping. So let's pull up one of our favorite sound files. Give it a listen. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? All right, now, if we come over to effects, we see a series of functions over here that we're going to look at. So the first one I'm going to look at is the uh, time stretch. And this is used for fairly modest shifts in time while keeping pitch the same. So unlike in the speeding up or slowing down a, uh, like a tape recorder, as we did in the old days, you change one, you change the other. In other words, you change the speed, you change the pitch as well as the time. So this is independent. Now we can sit here and uh, monkey this about 75%, 125, so plus and minus 25%. You can speed it up, slow it down. So I'm just gonna come in here at uh, about 120-ish percent. And the readout is going to tell you this is the current time, about five and three quarters seconds. And this is the resulting time, about seven seconds. So this can be useful if, for example, you're trying to maybe learn uh, a little lick on an instrument and you just need it to slow down a little bit to hear it a little bit better. Uh, there's certainly other applications for this. And let's give it a listen. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? So the quality on this is very good. Let's go back to the original. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? And redo it. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? So fairly modest shifts. And we can do the same thing with pitch. So we see a similar sort of dialog box here. We have a total of 400 cents, which is uh, four semitones that we can shift this. All right, so we can bring it down, right? Four semitones flat, bring it up, four semitones sharp. So let's just bring this, I'm not going to be too accurate. We'll just stick it around here. So you know, a full tone. So if this was originally if you were singing a note at C, it's going to come out as a, as a D. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? Go back to the original. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? Redo it. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? Okay. Now... If you want to get crazy with that and make really extreme pitch or uh, time shifts, there is a way to do that. You can go through something called resynthesize. And what this does is it essentially rips apart the sound. It turns it into sort of uh, little chunks. It would be like taking like a Frankenstein's monster. You'd be, it's like taking apart the body. You got legs and arms and a head and a torso, and you can individually manipulate those. And then, you know, as Dr. Frankenstein did, sew them all back together. But in this case, you could have really long legs and really tiny hands and a huge head or, you know, something like that. So you can kind of stitch together all these things. Basically, you've got a huge time change. All right. Factor of four in time. And then you have uh, basically, basically a uh, two octave shift and pitch that you can do. So we can do some pretty intense sorts of things. You select the process you want up here, and then there's um, some different kinds of settings that you can, you can um, manipulate depending on the source material. So this is just a, a very simple one. This is just one octave up for voice. This is not literally going to sound like a, a human being speaking up one octave. It's more of a more of an interesting effect. What about the job displacement market 
in the city of the future. I don't know. What about it? What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? And we could go the other way if you want, right? Or we could do an extreme, an extreme time change. So um, if we go down here on the pitch, let's just, let's just get crazy with the pitch. So go down an octave, and now it's going to sound like this guy's chest is, uh, you know, twelve feet across. <laughs> Pretty crazy, all right. Um, extreme time shifts, right? That's the other thing that we can do here. So uh, let's go to a time shift, and uh, let's slow it down. So now it's going to take twice as long. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? Oh, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. I wasn't watching. But you can, okay, so that was twice as fast. If we want to go twice as long, 200%. What about the job displacement market? Oh, poor person. Okay, so those are some fun kinds of things you can do. Now, let's shift to something a little bit different. I'm going to haul up a different sound over here. So this is just a little piano passage here in F minor. Got a little reverb on it. Um, there's a fun function called harmony. You can add other voices, right? So there's voice one, its pitch and its level, and then voice number two, its pitch and its level, and then the original level. So you can mix these three voices together. Um, and again, as usual, we got a bunch of, of uh, presets over here. So I'm going to use this perfect fifth down, All right? So we're just going to go a perfect fifth and listen to that. So it's, it's an interesting effect. Listen to the original again. And then listen to the affected version. Cool. Let's get back to our city of the future because it's time to do something really weird. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? Well, we're going to tell you all about it. What we're going to do is spectral warp. This is kind of like resynthesis and that it's going to rip apart the sound internally and stitch it together, but you can do really weird things. This essentially sweeps changes. So instead of just saying, oh, I want this to go up, you know, a, uh, a major third, or I want it to, you know, change by 25%, or whatever the heck it is. In this case, we have starting and ending factors to shift. And then we have a bias, which is an offset, rather than um, sort of a multiplier. This is simply added to the, um, to the constituent elements, if you will. And then we can sweep these factors in either a linear or logarithmic faction, uh, fashion, right? For both both the factor and the the bias it can either be linear or logarithmic. So you can get sort of fast, slow kinds of sweeps. Right? So there's some very interestingly named presets here, um, and this can be subtle and it can be just outrageous. Some of the weird th sorts of things you can do. So I'm going to use this, I'm going to start off with this one called being sucked into a black hole. Um, it's going to start with, um, you know, the start factor here. I actually, I think I want to use that as unity. And you can use the, the cursor keys, right, to sort of move those as well as just grabbing it with the mouse. 
So we're going to start up here to, you know, basically true pitch, right? So that would be bringing it down. This is bringing it up. So um, I'm going to start here right around true pitch. And then um, the ending factor, we're going to shift that out, right? 60% roughly. Start bias a, a, a little bit on the negative side. Um, that's basically, I'm going to do on that because there's a sort of a blank over here. And I want it to start off pretty normal on the first words. And then this bias just goes off the sort of the deep end. You'll hear what happens. What about the job displacement market? You'll see in the future. Okay. <laughs> do that again. What about the job displacement market? You'll see in the future. Pretty wacky. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? Such fun. So, other ones, right? What else you want to do? Um, you know, you can do the opposite. It can start off normal and then go crazy. It can start off normal and get wacky and then get normal again. As a matter of fact, there is a um, preset. I think that's literally, yeah, there it is. Wacky, normal, wacky. What about the job displacement market in the city of the future? <laughs> okay, so if you want to do something weird, Resynthesis is, is a nice <laughs> source to do that. A um, little side note, if you, um, if you want to, you can set up some toolbars. So I've got the functions toolbar, effects toolbar, and so forth. I'm just going to pop this open. And you get this little toolbar over here. got the wacky little icons but if you just you know park over here you can get the the tooltip so you can open them you can just leave this out here a little floating toolbar and um, maybe stick it up here um, and then just you know grab what you want okay so you say oh I want I want a spectral warp bunk there you go instead of having to go through the menus so there's there's a bunch of those a bunch of those floating toolbars anyway um, Try it out. Try some resynthesis. Try some uh, spectral warping. Whatever. Have some fun with it. You can do some really interesting, um, sometimes hilarious, sound effects with it. Take care.